In New York City, the biggest hot spot in the country, patients there are being moved to makeshift hospitals there as well. We've already seen some of the tented areas. Now the U.S. Open location there in Queens, the Billy Jean King National Tennis Center will be holding 150 beds. For now, it will eventually be expanded to handle 450 patients there. There will be nearly two dozen stations specifically for ICU patients there. And the state of New York has more coronavirus cases than any other country in the world. More cases than entire countries, including China, at its peak. There are over 160,000 confirmed cases just in New York, with more than 7,000 deaths there. Dr. Anthony Fauci says that antibody tests, which show who has already been infected with the coronavirus, will be available there in the, in the United States soon. The Department of Health and Human Services is planning on buying $2 billion worth the ventilators from its national stockpile and will distribute the equipment to states that need it most. President Trump is holding his coronavirus task force briefing early today because of Good Friday, so you can expect to see that at 1 o'clock this afternoon here on Local 4. Several Detroit grocery stores are offering special shopping times for senior shoppers. 11 grocery stores in all across the city will have a designated special set of hours to support seniors during this COVID-19 pandemic so they can shop on their own. The Detroit Bus Company is donating hand sanitizer to all store employees to keep the staffers and the shoppers safe. The hours vary, some from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., others from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. So to consider See the complete list of participating stores and those store hours for seniors. You can go to our website at clickondetroit.com.